So today what we're going to do is a wavy line design. All you need is a sheet of paper and a pencil. Uh, later on, we'll get into different medium if uh, we want to add color, if we want to use shading. But for now, we just need a pencil, nicely sharpened pencil, and a clean sheet of paper, whatever size paper that you want. Okay. So to begin, first of all, you want to have your paper in landscape. Okay. This is portrait and then this is landscape we want to have it in landscape for this project okay so we begin by drawing a slightly wavy line across the middle of the page okay not too wavy just a light roll okay and then what we do we can get complex or we can be fairly simple with this. I'm going to do half complex and half simple just so you can see uh, the difference between the two. And it all depends on how long you want to work on it. So I'm going to start real close to the corner here. And I'm going to make a wavy line, kind of like a hill, coming off the side of the paper. Okay. Then I'm going to, instead of starting close to this line, I'm going to start way out here and come in towards without touching and get bigger again and end. Okay. So now, um, since I was far on this one, I want to be close on this one. I don't want to be far again. I want to be close. So I'm going to start here. And again, we don't want to point these together. We don't want these to act like they're touching. We don't want these to look like they're ending here. So I don't want to start here. I don't want to point towards here because this is going to be like if it was never ending. Okay. I'm going to just come out. It's almost like making an hourglass and then come back in without touching get really close but not touch okay and again I'm not pointing at the bottom uh, I don't want it to come to a point I'm not trying to make a bunch of footballs on here uh, that's not the point of this I want to make sure that I'm getting my wavy line design so now you can do that throughout the page and end up like three or four of those uh, hourglasses but I'm going to go a little different a little more complex a little uh, fuller of an image uh, by making some smaller ones and again I personally don't like to touch you can um, but you have to pay attention to what you're doing. I, I don't want to touch in my designs. I just want to keep them uh, flowing uh, separately. Again, you have to act like these are never ending, so you don't want them to touch or end up pointing on the end of uh, at the end at the top or bottom of your paper and what I recommend doing is drawing lightly so that way you don't if you do make a mistake and you want to erase something because you didn't like the line that you made, if you draw lightly, it will be easier to erase and you won't have that ghosted image left over. So again, you can see kind of the larger, uh, introductory more or less, wavy lines, and then we're getting more of the, uh, I don't know if I'd say advanced, but this would be the more complex. This is going to take longer to complete because they're going to be smaller lines uh, and more to get finished than larger wavy lines. And 
And if you go off the page, you go off the page. And then if you feel that it needs to come back on the page, find that spot where you think it would come back on, and then continue. Okay? So that's it so far. What the next step is going to be is making this look, start to look, a little more three-dimensional. So right now it's flat. I have lines on paper, there's movement, but it's flat. And I need to make this to start looking dimensional. So there's a few ways we can do that. And to start, uh, I'm just going to pick a random one here. I'm going to start with the bottom, so underneath my horizontal line that I drew. So I've got a bunch of wavy vertical lines and I've got my one horizontal line. Uh, I'm going to pick one and I'm going to start here and make like a big smiley face. Okay, so this is going to start making this look more dimensional. Okay, it's going to start bringing it off the paper a little bit. And what I want to do is just continue that smiley face. You're almost making like stripes. Okay, the smaller that area gets, the uh, closer these lines should be getting to each other because you're creating depth along with dimension. Uh, depth is, you know, how far or close something is, but I mean, depth is more or less how far something is. So if something's falling down, if it's further away from you, uh, then there's some good depth to it. But you have to keep that smiley face going. If you draw these lines too flat, you'll lose that dimension. And I'm going to keep them all going in the same direction. When they start to get bigger, I'm going to start to space them out. And it goes off the page, it goes off the page. So right now, just creating the illusion that something is wider and then thinner, that's already starting to draw your eye back as if it was going away from you. Okay, so now I'm going to go on the top and I'm going to do a rainbow. Okay, or a frown if you want to call it, but I'd call it a rainbow. Keep it happy and light and airy. Okay, and then it's, all we have to do is we just have to repeat this. This is very simplistic on my lines. I could get more complex and make different shapes as long as I'm making them round. I can make it look like it's been dented, kind of like that, where there is an extra little uh, loop in there, that little curve, that bend that's going to make it look like that hose or worm or whatever this thing is at the end uh, is has been squeezed and it's not completely round anymore. So you have to do that for all these. And I'm going to give you some time. Go ahead and complete this. I'm going to do this and probably speed this up. But um, take the time. Go through all of them, the in-betweens, not just the, the big ones here. You've got to do the in-betweens, so the big ones down here, all the way through. So on the lower part, the lines are going this direction. So you have smiley faces underneath that line. You have rainbows above that line. Okay?
Okay, so there's the finished product for pencil making. Um, we've created a little dimension, a little bit of uh, illusion, but we're gonna take it further in the next lesson. So the next lesson, we're going to add value, and we're also going to use um, a color medium, probably markers. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with a pencil, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it with markers and really bring this to life, really kind of confuse the eye, create that illusion of uh, depth and dimension and you know, bring this 3D, okay?